drive, and it's an early third and one. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and ten. Levis sets up to throw here. And that going to be incomplete. Boy, nearly intercepted right away. Levis to throw it. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. But you look at this defense against the pass, just numbers that they haven't liked. Number 30 in the league right now. And when you're getting ready to face the number one overall offense in the NFL, it does not matter where you rank defensively because you got your hands full. You don't know what you're going to face, but you know that that's a strong unit that you're getting ready for. And a gain there of 11 yards. You got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice, sustained series to begin the game that will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. First down, here's the run with Cook. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Levis back to throw. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive. But this is third down. Levis looking to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass and they get 12 yards out of it. First and ten, here's Levis. And that is incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Levis. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And now before they run this fourth down play, we're going to get a timeout. So as they talk it over, we step aside. And his kick is good. And the opening drive of the game yields three. Well, they started the drive backed up pretty deep, but a nice effort to overcome the field position, get into field goal range on the game's opening possession. And Brandon, I think from where they started, the initial thought was, can we get one or two first downs and help out our defense after we pump the ball away with field position? But as that drive went on, I think their sights got set a little bit higher. They were thinking touchdown, ended up settling in between and coming away with a field goal. They start on the ground with Allen. And a short pick up to about the 27. It'll be second down. The numbers for Zeke from last week. 16 carries, 61 yards, and a touchdown. 11 touchdowns on the ground this season, and the pride really extends throughout the entire offense. And in this case, I'm focusing on the offensive line. The leverage, the ability to get downfield, make that extra block in order to give him more space to run. They really look forward to him carrying the football because they're going to get him to the end zone. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now it's Watson. He's got his target. That's complete. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown! DeAndre Hopkins with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Dragons are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. The Charles here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. 
Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, Try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. Third and short, it's Levis. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Levis now on first and 10. Robinson hauling it in out right. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. On second down, Cook. And he stopped immediately there. Now hang on here. Not what you want to see because Dalvin Cook injured at least for the moment and in some discomfort. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Here's Levis. Called in left side here by Jennings. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. Okay, so now the question, how did he get that wide open? Well, we both know that he shouldn't because from the time they handed out scouting reports before this game, he was circled, starred, everything. Find him, cover him. But sometimes you can scheme a guy open. You put the receivers in a bunch, maybe you move some motion, maybe you put them on the backside of a formation, and all of a sudden you've got a better matchup. Every now and then, the offensive guys, they figure a way to get him open, even with everyone keeping eyes on him. And that's certainly a guy they want to keep trying to scheme open. Levis to throw on first and 10 here. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 12 yards there and a first down. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. On first down, Levis going underneath. He's got Hawkinson. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially, it's no gain on the play, and they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. On third down, Spence. And he won't get to the marker as they're going to stop it for a second straight play right at the line of scrimmage. They'll be marked inches short, no gain on the play, and that's going to lead them to fourth down. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. So they're content to take the three. Somewhat of a conservative call there, opting not to go for it on fourth and inches. And that's from a team that you and I know is not usually playing it close to the vest. It's a little bit of a surprise that they opted for the three instead of going for it. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. 
And he'll be dropped at the 21 yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Off of play action, it's Watson. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. On first down, it's Watson. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Watson now to throw. Got a man open. That's Harry. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. On first down, Watson. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be second down. Watson. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Well, this defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. And what keyed their victory? The pass rush. Got to the quarterback six times for sacks and plenty of other turbulence in the pocket for him as well. Hard to throw the ball downfield, but all you're seeing is opposing jerseys come at you. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. A give to Elliott running left. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his 12th rushing touchdown of the year. And they are able to add on to their advantage. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to eight. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Houston's offense taking over again. They've been settling quite a bit. They've been able to move the football some, but they've just been settling. That's one of the reasons they're down on the scoreboard. I love that word you picked, settling, because nowadays in this NFL, you're thinking touchdown almost every drive because everything's so high power. Yeah, you'll take the field goal, but you always feel like you're leaving points out there when you don't put it in the end zone. They'll be trying to put it in the end zone here on this drive. First and 10, it's Levis. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. For 30 more yards and another first down. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Back to throw, it's Levis. They're going back to the same wall, it's Hawkinson again. Touchdown! T.J. Hawkinson, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Oilers have cut the lead back down to two. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. 
No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And this is up and good. It brings them within a point now. It's 14-13. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it was T.J. Hawkinson who finished the drive with a touchdown reception. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. And he's closing in on that number that all running backs circled beginning of the year, the number 1,000. Could do it on this drive. And you have to think to yourself that this moment, getting to this spot, it started in the offseason, right? Not just the workouts, right? Not just getting yourself physically prepared to play, but mentally, as well as your team, as well as your unit, head coach, offensive coordinator. We run the football. We give you opportunities. He's taking advantage of it. And when you get this close to the mark, you just hope things don't tighten up, right? You probably want to get there and get it in your rearview mirror. You really do, don't you? Because now it becomes predominant, and you wonder about play calling as well. Do you want to call plays to get that out of the way, or are you still calling plays to win the game first? That becomes the burden of the play caller. A gain of three, second down. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. Second and seven as they've got it as we resume action. On second down, Elliott once more. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Back to throw, Watson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 27. Here's Watson. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. And this will hold in. Again, it's Hooper. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Inside give to Elliott. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Quick throw completed by Watson. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it brings up third and five now. To throw is Watson. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. Oh, Brandon, that's a gamer move right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here. Give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. And he powers through the first lane, but he's going to be swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Defense really sold out there to stop the run. Understandable down near the goal line. Now on second down, you have to wonder, might we see play action here and a flip right over the top? Again, it's Elliott. They'll fight for the end zone, but they will stop him again. Shy of the goal line. Third down and goal now, and this Houston defense not backing down. They'll look for one more stop. And it's caught. Touchdown. 
Nikhil Harry from a yard out. And the Dragons are able to stretch out their lead. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word, if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is up to eight. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Nikhil Harry. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And now out comes Houston. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Now a dump off here complete, and they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. The offense on third down, they've been very good, five for seven thus far. This time it's third and three. Now Levis, able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. Well, we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it. There you go. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They'll keep it on the ground. Spence. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Levis. He's got his target. That's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now a handoff up the middle. Spence, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Levis back to throw. Throw left side on target to Thielen. Pass interference. Defense. No. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. They'll try to left side. Spence. Rashawn Evans out of Alabama had the tackle defensively. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. Levis sets up to throw here. And he is caught. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A very important third down conversion right there, because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. 
They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Levis from the gun. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. And his kick here is good. And that'll get the lead down to five. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a little bit putting it in the end zone, they still been able to come away with points due to his leg. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now Deshaun Watson and his offense heading back out there. The last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six to six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate, the receivers catch it, the ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, the ball never hits the ground there either. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. And he'll power his way up near the 25. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. He's put up numbers in this one by pushing the envelope a bit whenever he could with deeper throws. Well, let's play a little philosophy here. Some plays it works, sometimes they're ready for you. And that time, they were on guard. Incomplete. Fielded just inside the 30. We'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. They'll keep it on the ground. Spence. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Here now, third and a yard. Up the middle they go. Spence. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And they'll send out their punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team, and that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. 
Now comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And looking at this situation, Charles, you got more than a minute. You've got all three timeouts. Probably no need to play this safe. So what you're saying is that we're doing a little bit of a mind meld here, aren't we? Because I'm thinking along the same lines as you. This amount of time, don't be compelled to play it too safe. This is a chance to get points on the board. Press it a little bit. And especially since a touchdown here gets you the lead. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. On third down, Spence. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Getting set to go again, DeAndre Hopkins marches back onto the field. He's up over 100 yards, has the touchdown. He's, <laughs> he's a big-time receiver in this league, so the question becomes, how do you limit him going forward? Well, you know the guys trying to cover him? They haven't had a whole lot of success thus far, and, and while they will still accept the challenge, maybe you have to change your focus. You have to get after the quarterback a little bit, disrupt his timing. Because right now, it feels like pitch and catch. Make sure he's not able to have clear sight lines to him, and maybe that'll slow him down. And this is not the guy you want to let play pitch and catch. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And this drive was almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. This time, they stay on the ground. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Watson's throw into the hands of Hooper. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. So we've come to halftime in a five-point game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. The NFL season is going to be about two-thirds complete after this weekend. So lots to get to as we check out what's going on here in week 11. Past the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. Taken at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. For this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. To throw on second is Watson. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Watson. That one complete, Elliott. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. From the 44 yard line, here's second and three. To the air yet again, Watson. And he's going to have the hook up here with Harry. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Watson. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. They work now on second and nine. From the gun, here's Watson. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. 
fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. Watson off play action. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. It's Chris Harris with a pick. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. That is a tough way to start the third quarter. You get the football open to drive it down, put it in the end zone, and take the lead. Instead, they give them the football. And I think the key here is for them to not get discouraged. That is not how they drew it up, not how they saw it in their minds. But there's a long way to go in this game. You know, they've just got to find a way to come back one play at a time. Yes, it's a cliche, but they can get it done. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Levis's throw complete to his receiver, Thielen. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. Levis looking to throw. Adam Thielen back to back catches. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Here's Levis. He'll get this to Jennings over the middle. And he's taken down inside the 30. Call that a gain of 11. Jennings will go in motion right. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. A second down throw from Levis. Hawkinson crossing the middle and bringing it in. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Levis to throw it. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Ballon Nichols busting through to get him for a loss of six. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Now a give, right side, Spence. And he's gonna get this one down inside the 15. Nine yards on the game there, and it's gonna bring up a tough third and seven. Back to throw, it's Levis. And got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Rondale Robinson, a 13-yard touchdown. And the Oilers have taken the lead here in this third quarter. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well, moving the ball down the field. Now Sean Payton going to say, let's go for two on this one. Levis will try to throw for the two. And he's got it. The try for two is successful, and it pushes the lead up to a field goal. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage, at least give your team a fighting chance. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Tokyo offense heads back out there now. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play, right? And the ball is knocked out. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. And defensively, maybe an opportunity miss there. No doubt about it. When that ball's out, all you're thinking about as a defender is, this is our chance to make a huge play. Instead, 
he's able to recover his own fumble. And Big usually, sigh of relief, huh? Yeah, usually those wide receiver fumbles. There's a breaks the tackle, now Allen. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Watson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Elliott. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 more on that one and another first down. Watson looks to throw again. He's got Hooper on the short connection. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. Here's Watson. And that'll be incomplete. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott. That's career touchdown number 131, and it ties him with Chris Carter for number eight on the all-time list. And the Dragons have retaken a third-quarter lead. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. Extra point right down the middle, and that will make this a four-point game. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Houston set to take over. Levis to throw on first and 10 here. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Now during that run, an injury here. we got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Levis back to throw. That is caught. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 70th catch for him on the year, like so many others. This goes for a first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Levis now on first and 10. He'll find Thielen working the middle. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Second and a couple. Levis sets up to throw here. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They'll throw it again with Levis. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. They'll run on first down. Spence. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Now second and nine.
Now a handoff up the middle. It's Curtis. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Levis on third down, looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Levante David, and they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. And that could turn out to be a giant play, Charles. You've got an offense driving to take the lead, but they're turned away on the INT. And I think that we might look back on this in the fourth quarter and say, that was the play of the game. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so, his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of them. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those are some massive men. Second and five. A handoff left to Elliott. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Watson now to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Watson on first down. Got a man open. That's Harry. So the completion good for just three. And that'll bring up second down. On the option, here's Elliott. And he'll get maybe a couple, if that, up to the 46. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed out hard there. He was ready for that running play. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. That'll put him up over 160 yards receiving now for the game. They can't seem to stop it. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. A first down carry by Elliott. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Toss left to Elliott. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. He'll buy some time right. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, Watson. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Throwing on third down. Watson, quick slant, caught by Moore. And they'll get him down short of the first down, right on the 10-yard line. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And his kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position. 
but it's not out of reach yet. Okay, being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Well, Houston's offense taking over again. And that last turnover could have proven more costly, but their defense only gave up three. But now answering with a field goal doesn't do them much on this drive. They need to try and find the end zone. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. From the 23, here's a second and four. Now Levis. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Levis. Open man once again, it's Thielen. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Levis out of the shotgun now. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Here's Levis. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Levis to throw once more. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. But Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. But the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. Now it's first and 10 after a costly penalty there on fourth down. Levis looking to throw. He's to the 15. And he's going to get it all the way down to the 10-yard line. A well-executed 22-yard game. Like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. from 10 yards out. And the Oilers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Tokyo set to go on offense once again. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Here's second and ten. A shotgun snap for Watson. Catch is made by Harry. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. 
Third and five. Now Watson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. They certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. Looking to throw. It's caught by Hooper. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. The give is to Elliott. And all the way down inside the 5 to the 4. 88 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Here's Watson. On the move to his left. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make a play, but in this case, he's surrounded, and all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. Touchdown! Tucker Kraft, his first touchdown on the year. And the Dragons answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So, Charles, this game feels like it has been punch, counter punch all throughout, and that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You talk about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Adam Thielen, he gets set to go again with the rest of this offense. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. Especially with a touchdown. <laughs> yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of players. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Here now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. Levis back to throw. And this is caught, Jennings. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A gain there of 21 yards. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Up the middle they go. 
Spence. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Little boot.